Adam. Adam Bricker. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong person. How about the 50 cent tour? Doc, do you see the guy in the blue shirt over there? Aren't they the same man? Strong resemblance. Good looking guy. Good looking, bright, talented. We were a team at an ad agency. I wrote the lyrics, Alex wrote the music. You remember the Cupid Cologne jingle? Make her your own with Cupid Cologne. Sure. We wrote that. We made Cupid the best selling cologne in the country. Millions bought it thinking they'd get instant sex appeal. I know. Smell me. <laughs> Doc, we were the best. We had plans. We were going to be married. Open our own agency. Then one day, five years ago, Alex disappeared. I had police and private detectives on the case for months. When they didn't find him, I assumed. The worst. Yeah. Doc, that's him. I'd know him anywhere. Huh? It's me, Lily. Well, it's nice to meet you, Lily. But my name is still Ted, Ted Wilcox. You look exactly like someone, Alex Fowler. Well, Lily, if he doesn't show up, it's his loss. As a matter of fact, I hope he doesn't. Then maybe we can have dinner together. Uh, yes, I'd like that. See you then. Well, they say we all have a twin somewhere. That's him. That's Alex. Come on. I said his name is Ted. Doc, I loved that man for four years. My heart knows it's Alex. Doc, it's weird. He invited me to dinner, but he still kept acting as if he doesn't know me. How about this? He doesn't know you, and he isn't Alex. But he is. I'm positive. He's wearing a ring I gave him. The same as mine. Coincidence. Doc, these were handmade. Alex and I designed them. There aren't two other rings like this in the whole world. Well, what if he is your Alex, only he doesn't know it? Amnesia? Could be. Hmm. I asked him about his past, and nothing matched. He said he spent his entire life in California. Hmm. I know that he grew up in Connecticut and went to Yale. Well, in certain amnesia cases, people make up a past and believe it to be true. He'll take on a whole new identity. He was a hotshot on Madison Avenue. Now he's some kind of guitar maker. Hmm. Is he happy? I don't know. How do I get him back to reality? Well, amnesia is nothing to fool around with. You need a specialist. But while you're here, you could try to gently remind him of your life together. I'd do anything to get Alex back. I'll remind him of our rings. I'll remind him of the jingles we used to write. And if that doesn't work, I'll take him down to the cabin and remind him of the thing we used to do most. <laughs> backgammon. <laughs> we played backgammon a lot. Yeah. Honest. I believe you. You do? Did I ever tell you about the swamp land I have for sale? <laughs> Shelby. You bet. I see. What would you like? I think I'll have a cognac. And I guess you'll want one, too. Ah, two cognacs, right. Oh, uh, enough for me. I'd like a beer. I've never acquired a taste for cognac. Oh, then I'll have a beer, too. Too light, right? No, I always drink dark beer. Uh, make that two dark beers. Coming right up. You know, I just might try a cognac. I may get to like it. Uh, two cognacs. Right. <laughs> yeah, that ring you're wearing is the same as mine. Really? Where'd you get it? I don't know. 
I've been wearing it as long as I can remember. Mine was made for me by a little jeweler on 48th Street in New York. I've never been to New York. A friend of mine designed it. Actually, he was more than just a friend. I guess he must have designed two, then. Small world, isn't it? What do you do in New York? I write advertising jingles. No kidding. You might have heard some of them. Like the uh, Cupid Cologne commercial. Make her your own with Cupid Cologne. Reach out and grab it. Let her know you have it. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to make fun of your jingle, but it is kind of a name, isn't it? That jingle sold a lot of cologne. Reach out and grab it. Let her know you have it. I guess it is kind of a name. There you go. Thanks, Isaac. Well, how do you like it? Tastes like your Cupid cologne. <laughs> Come on in. I've been working on something I want you to hear. Oh, I'd like that. Well, I hope so. I want to call it Lily's song. I'm flattered. the music to the Cupid Cologne jingle. You know, you're right. I thought I made it up. I'm sorry. Oh, don't stop. You play beautifully. Oh, some other time. I write a lot of tunes. It's lyrics I have trouble with. That's my specialty. Why don't we write something together? Yeah, I'd like that. I think I'd better warn you, though. I do most of my composing sitting on my porch in Sonoma County, watching the Russian River go by. Is that an invitation? Sure is. Maybe I'll take you up on it. Of course, in a few days, I think I'd miss the excitement of New York. Lily, there's plenty of excitement outside of New York, you know. I mean, there's excitement right here in this room. Remind you of anything? What should it remind me of? Oh, never mind. You know, it's funny. I, I feel like I've known you all my life. I mean, all these strange coincidences. Like you thinking you knew me and us wearing the same ring. You know? I don't know. It's like we were meant for each other. I love you, you know. I wondered who was going to say it first. Lily, would you think I was crazy if I asked you to come to California with me? We could get married. I have a career in New York. We could be together there, too. No, I'd never fit in. Yes, you would. I'd be like a fish out of water. You'd love New York. I know you would if you gave it a try. I could get you a job with the agency writing music. I'd be no good at it. What do you mean you'd be no good at it? You were good at it. You were the best. Damn it, don't you remember? Lady, you're out of your mind. You're the one who's out of his mind. Alex, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Once and for all, my name's Ted. Ted Wilcox. Oh, Doc, I blew it. He asked me to marry him and live in California. Yeah. And I said we should live in New York. But I could get him his old job writing jingles. He doesn't belong up in the woods making guitars. Why not? Because he has a brilliant mind. He could write his own ticket on Madison Avenue. Maybe he doesn't like Madison Avenue. Maybe Madison Avenue is the reason he snapped. What do you mean? Look, amnesia can be caused by emotional stress. If there's too much pressure on a person. The mind reacts. 
I put more pressure on Alex than anyone. I drove him. I wanted us to have our own agency. The crazy thing is, I love the new Alex. If you love him, then why don't you go out to California with him? Oh, sure. Just drop everything and run off and live out a fantasy. Don't you have a fantasy? Yeah. I've always wanted something more than jingles. I wanted to write songs about life and love. My favorite kind. But I'm no Carol King. I'd probably fall flat on my face. Lily, if you're happy with what you're doing, you're not failing. That sounds like something Ted would say. Don't you mean Alex? No. I mean Ted. Sorry about this afternoon. Oh, that's okay. I was trying to turn you into someone I once knew. It was a mistake. No, it was my mistake. I almost let you get away. Is that offer still open to sit and watch the Russian River go by? And you're willing to give up New York? It's just a city. And your career? Can I tell you a secret? There's always been something lacking. All I've ever really wanted to do is write songs. And I know, deep down, if I give myself the chance, I can write good ones. Well, I can offer you a rocking chair and a sunset every now and then for inspiration. Someone once told me, if you like what you're doing, you'll be great at it. And I sure like what I'm doing. Goodbye, Doc. And thank you for everything. Sure, run off with a guitar player. If you'd heard me play stethoscope, it would have been a different story. <laughs> Goodbye, Ted. Bye, Doc. I love you, you know, more than I did before. Before? Well, I don't remember much about my life in New York, but last night with you, I remember the most important part. I loved you then, and I love you now. 